called the Randall Knife. My father had a Randall knife, and my mother gave it to him when he went off to World War II to save us all from ruin. Now, if you've ever held a Randall knife, you know my father well. If a better blade was ever made, it was probably forged in hell. My father was a good man was a lawyer by his trade and only once did I ever see him misuse the blade <laughs> well it almost cut his thumb off when he took it for a tool now the knife was made for darker things and you could not bend the rules well he let me take it camping once on a Boy Scout jamboree, <laughs> I broke a half an inch off trying to stick it in a tree. Well, I hid it from him for a while, but the knife and he were one, and he put it in his bottom drawer without a hard word one. And there it slept, and there it stayed for 20 some odd years, sort of like Excalibur, except waiting for a tear. father died when I was 40 and I couldn't find a way to cry not because I didn't love him not because he didn't try well, I'd cried for every lesser thing for whiskey pain and beauty but he deserved a better tear and I was not quite ready took his ashes out to sea and poured them off the stern and then through the roses in the wake of everything we'd learned and when we got back to the house they asked me what I wanted not the law books not the watch I need the thing he's haunted the Randall knife there in the bottom drawer and I found a tear for my father's life and all that it stood for. Thank you very much.